back to another video. This is going to be on the 2020 LG OLEDs. It's uh, been brought up to my attention that this article has come out about LG 2020 OLEDs not having the full 48 gigabit 2.1 HDMI ports. Hmm. Let's dig in. Got a website here. Got this link. Let's check it out. So it looks like, uh, yeah, what we're seeing here is that the C9 will have the full 48 gigabits. Great, cool. But the 48 gigabits full bandwidth is meant for 12-bit technology, right? And guess what? It's a 10-bit panel. So what does that do for you? Nothing. You're basically putting this huge gigabit information into a panel that can't show it all. So you're downgrading it. Even if you did have the C9 that has the full 48, there's no devices that push out that much data. So what does it matter? And even if there was a device that comes out two or three years from now that you can plug into your TV, it's going to be shrunk down to a 10-bit panel source anyway. So you're not even going to see the full benefit of it. So having the CX is better because you have a better processor. And the better processor helps the overall scheme, the overall panel and picture quality and smart features. All that stuff is more important today. And the next-gen consoles aren't going to be 12-bit, 48 gigabit pushing out that much data. That doesn't make any sense either. There's no TVs that can do that now. So why would they make a system that's already meant for that? Can't take advantage of it. So guys, if you're worried about, I'm not going to be able to take full advantage of the 48 gigabits. I got to downgrade to a C9 or trade in my CX for C9. Don't do it. Not worth it. If you have a C9, great. You can say you have 48 gigabits. You're not going to be able to use it. Not for the foreseeable future. So great. Get a C9 if you want. You're not going to use the 48, 48 uh, gigabits anyway. Go with the CX2020 if you want to get a new TV because it's a better overall TV than the C9. Myself, I'm not worried about it. I have a 10-bit panel, which is glorious and it's perfect and it's wonderful. Next-gen systems are going to be awesome on it, even with FreeSync. So having this 48 gigabit stuff does not matter to me. All right, guys. Well, the article, I'll leave a dis uh, link in the description of it. Uh, but for me, it doesn't matter to me. I'm good. Good to go. No worries. 40 gigabits is plenty at 10 bit data. So that's it, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys next time. Home Theater Rules. Raph K. Vote. See ya.